Hi, my name is Exo, and I'm on a journey to becoming a DIY guru. Now, garden sheds are a brilliant idea if you're short of storage. They provide you with a lockable area out of the rain where you can store your lawnmower and other tools. And today, I'm going to take you through the step-by-step -step process on how to assemble the Kita Darwin 4x6 shed. This is a two-man job, but if all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a couple of hours. Start by unpacking all the parts and group them together. Two roof panels, five side panels, one window panel and window, four corner panels and two floor sections, and then the hardware and joining strips required, as well as the gables. And the tools you'll need are a Phillips screwdriver or electric screwdriver, a tape measure and a ladder. This shed is four by six feet, which translates to 1850 millimeters by 1260 millimeters and is 2050 millimeters high. This shed is flat pack with all the parts included and is made from a composite material, basically a form of plastic. The wood finish looks great and certainly does not need any sanding and revarnishing. The first step is to clip the two floor panel pieces together and fasten into the pre-drilled hole using the 12 mm screws. Now you can put the screws in by hand, but having an electric screwdriver makes life so much easier. And now to put up the wall panels, you'll notice on the corner panels that one side is 255 millimeters and the other side is 232 millimeters. We want the longer 255 millimeter panel on the back wall. So we're simply going to slot it into the channel followed by a solid panel. So I'm gonna put the 12 mil screw at the top just to hold it in place. We'll do the rest later. Just make sure that your panels are lined up because as these are self-tapping screws, they make their own hole. Next is a corner and a wall panel on either side until you reach the middle, securing the top screws as you go. Here we need to put in a four-way connector strip, ensuring the large side faces inward. The window can be placed on any of the two sides or the back panel, and I'm going to place it here. Work your way around until you have the walls done. Now along the side where the door will be, we need the shorter 232mm side to be on the front to allow for the door frame. I can now finish screwing all the panels together using the 12mm screws, but not on the four-way connector. We'll get to these later. And as I said earlier, make sure each piece is tightly pressed together and down onto the base. And now to install the door frame, take the two metal strips marked DRTFL and DRTFR, left and right and put them in place by slotting them into the base and then onto the corner pieces and screw in place before assembling the two gables. Just make sure you use the gable with the door cut out on the door end. Slot it into place onto the two metal door frame pieces and secure with 12 mm screws. The other gable goes on the other end. To assemble the roof, place these plastic strips along the top of the wall and gable. Put the two remaining metal strips DRSM into the floor inside the shed and onto the top rail. These are for rigidity. Once you have screwed these strips to the wall, secure the ridge strip to the gables using these 45 mm screws and rubber washers. And now we can slide the roof sheets which are labeled as DRRT into place and secure from the outside using the 80 mm screws. Back inside with the 12 mm screws, we can now attach the roof panels onto the ridge strips and gables. Time for the door assembly, so place the last panel face down and push the rubber strips into the edge of the panel before assembling the framework and screwing it in place. We can then attach the hinges to the door, making sure the hinges are on the outside of the door and not on the inside. And then we can attach the door to the frame. Before installing the locking mechanism and locking plate, all holes are pre-drilled. And for the window, stick some of the supplied weather strip on the top and sides of the window before putting it into the opening, top first. Remove the protective plastic and put the paint in before securing the inner part of the frame with screws. And the last step is to attach the entire shed to the base using the 45mm screws. That's it! Really easy to assemble and ready for use. Now this is just one of the storage shed solutions available at Builders, in-store or online at builders.co.za. And for more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to Builders, get it done.